Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over how to close out with your supervisor by completing the in-state experience verification form. So this is a form that you want to do with every supervisor every time you close out with them. Closing out can look like them leaving your site or you leaving your site. Um, I should also mention that this is a form that is necessary to complete as a trainee and as an associate. So when you're doing your associateship, you're obviously going to be supervised. And when those supervisory relationships end, you will also go through the process of completing this form as it is a requirement for licensure. So the way you're going to access this is you're going to log into Tavera and be at your homepage. <clears throat> And you're going to go at the top right hand arrow here and you're going to make sure you have reports selected scroll down and you're looking for the 528 in state experience verification form and click run. So we're going to go over how to fill this in together. Um, for your date range, this is the time at which you were working with your supervisor. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to say that was May 1st through today's date, with it, which is July 28th. Make sure that your name is reflected correctly here. Um, for the purposes of us still being in school, um, there's not going to be an associate number. But of course, if you are completing this as your, as an associate, you will put your associate number here, but we're going to keep this blank. Um, and then for hours reported were earned, we're going to click pre-degree. Now, of course, if you're doing this as an associate, you are going to select post-degree, but if you're a trainee, we're obviously pre-degree. For track, this depends on what program you're in. So if you're in the evening program, you will click MACLP evening timesheet. If you're in the daytime program like myself, you're going to click MACLP Malibu Day, and that's what I'm going to do just for the sake of this demo. And then for your site, I know some of us have multiple sites, so you can use this drop down menu to toggle between your sites, but you're going to make sure that the correct site is selected um, that you work with your supervisor at. And then go ahead and select your site supervisor who you're filling the form out for here. Now, this is where you're going to fill in your uh, supervisor's license information. So you can get this directly from them. You can just ask them. Um, you can also find some of this information in your BBS supervision agreement. Another thing you can do is you can actually go on the BBS website and look up their license, which is generally good practice every time you start working with a new supervisor. I do recommend doing that. Um, I'm just going to fill in some mock information for the purpose of this demo. Um, let's say they were licensed in 2016. Okay. And then for this section here, um, this is essentially only relevant if your supervisor is a psychiatrist. Um, we typically don't have physicians uh, supervising us, but it certainly can and does happen. So you're going to answer that appropriately here and you're going to get this information from your supervisor once again, if they're a psychiatrist. But if they're not a psychiatrist, you're gonna just click NA and you're gonna leave the rest of this information blank. Now, this is the probably the most important part of this form is the employer information. So for the first question, was this experience gained in a setting that lawfully and regularly provides mental health counseling or psychotherapy? The answer for this should be absolutely yes. Was this experience gained in a private practice setting? So once again, we, um, for the sake of this demo, I'm completing this as a trainee, as a pre-degree trainee who does not have an associate number yet. So I'm going to click no, because as a trainee, it is illegal to gain experience in a private practice setting. However, if you are an associate, you know that it is completely legal for you to work in a private practice. So if you're in a if you are an associate, you'll just click yes or no based on what's appropriate for you. But if you are a trainee, the answer is always no. Uh, this is essentially asking, was this experience gained in a setting where you got adequate and legal supervision? And the answer to this should absolutely be yes. And then for hours gained as an associate only, 
once again, since I'm completing this as a pre-degree trainee, I'm going to click NA, but if you are an associate, you're going to answer this appropriately. Were you experience, uh, Were you receiving pay? But for me, I'm going to click NA because I'm a trainee. Now, regardless of if you're in the evening or in the daytime format, you're going to select MACLP on ground. And then once all of this is correct and you've given it a quick look over, you're going to click send for signatures. Okay, this is what it looks like filled in. Go ahead and double check everything. Make sure that your pre-degree or post-degree is selected appropriately, that all of your information is here. Of course, if you're pre-degree, there will be no associate number, but if you are an associate, make sure your number was typed in correctly. This is your supervisor's information with their phone number, their email address, the type of license they have, their license number, and the date they were first licensed. So make sure that you double check that. Um, of course, for physicians here, we selected NA, but if you do have a psychiatrist as your supervisor, make sure this information is correct. And then this will be your um, employer's or your site's information. And then when you go to the second page here, you want to make sure that these questions were answered correctly, as I instructed um, earlier. And then these are the dates of your experience. This is how many weeks of supervision you got under that supervisor. And these are all of the hours that you logged under that supervisor. So once you've double checked everything and you've ensured that it's correct, this is where your supervisor will sign and date. One thing I should mention is the signed in Tavera stamp here. Um, so if you were to click send and share, um, Tavera essentially sends your supervisor an email saying, hey, um, your trainee or your associate needs this document signed, log into Tavera so you can sign it. Um, if it has the signed in Tavera stamp, your supervisor can do a typed signature or a mouse pad signature. So what a typed signature is, is when um, there's an option in Tavera for the supervisor to type in their password and it essentially puts in like a typed stamp of their signature. Um, that is only acceptable for the BBS if the signed in Tavera stamp is here. Another option, of course, which is what we've typically always done and advise students to do is a mouse pad or a wet signature where you use your mouse pad to kind of make a real signature that looks like what you would write by hand. Um, another option as well, which I'll show you how to do, is to download this form, print it out for your supervisor, and then go and have them just physically sign it by hand with a pen. So if all of this looks good to you and you want to send it to your supervisor through Tavera for signature, you would click send and share. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, we're going to go back. But if you were going for the option where you want to download it um, and have your supervisor sign it by hand, you would click generate PDF. And then when you click generate PDF, it'll automatically download a PDF for you. And you can do without what you may to get it signed. So yeah, that's the process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna click cancel, but of course you would click one of these buttons based on what's appropriate for you. And then I'm gonna teach you how to access this form once you've sent it in Severa and gotten it signed. So you're gonna go to assignments and you're gonna go to other documents. I should mention that other documents for some people shows up in this drop down menu here, but typically it'll be another tab. So just keep that in mind. So you'll go to other documents. Of course, since I didn't actually send it out and get it signed, it's not showing up here. But if I did, it would show up here and I would be able to access it, look at it, download it, what have you. Now, let's say that you downloaded the MT form and you had your supervisor sign it by hand. What you can do is you can scan it back into your computer with the signature and you can upload it to, to Vera. So you can click this plus button here, upload a document, and then you would drop the file here. So yeah, while this is an extremely important document, I do think that the process is pretty straightforward. Just like I said, whether you're a trainee, whether you're an associate, make sure that you're doing this every single time you close out a relationship with your supervisor. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you need any help, please feel free to reach out to your clinical training team. Thank you.